It's now time for interactive. You can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store and watch a variety of live sporting action, including the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations, the Winter Youth Olympic Games, the limited overs leg of the West Indies Store of Australia and the five-match test series between India and England. Also, check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. All right, so let's take this voice note from one of our viewers. Hi, Sports Max. This is Mike from New York. I think Nigeria have a very deep squad, so I think this tournament is theirs to lose. Nigeria for me. Yeah. yeah. I think Lejay was suggesting. I think Lejay was suggesting that as well that they would be favourites from here on in. They are favourites from here on in, but we've seen what has happened to the favourites so yeah. far. <laughs> yeah, that favourite tag. So yeah. let's keep it locked to Sports Max. We'll continue watching the Africa Cup of Nations and see how it turns out. Do we have any more voice notes? We don't, but we do have comments from Tuesday's discussion about how to protect the region's best young fast bowlers, especially our new test hero, Shamar Joseph. Let's head across to YouTube where we have Adrian saying 100% agree with Bish. Fast bowlers need to be protected at all cost as, as they do the hardest job in cricket. We have this one. Wow, the authentic wow. one. Yeah, I couldn't agree with Bish more. There must be a healthy balance between loyalty and personal advancement. Let us get the right people to help him manage every aspect. We're talking mental, health, match frequency, so he can maximize his potential without fatigue. Supernova says, extremely happy to hear Bish on Sports Max. Swear I haven't heard him on here at all, or at least in recent years. He's right, though. CWI and GCB need to manage him correctly. He's shown us he has the it factor to win matches from his pace and accuracy. We can't allow him to follow some before him where a year from now he's burnt out from playing too much franchise cricket. That sort of pace needs to be managed and nurtured to be maintained. Vanti says, the first thing I would like is for the young man's injury is totally healed then managing his workload is also important. If corporate West Indies can help, then this would be a boon for the young man. Otherwise, I see him going the way of all the other players before him. All right, John John. Bish, you are so right, we cannot burn these guys out. Cricket West Indies have to step up their game, pay those guys for their talent. Herbizzo. Protect him by finding another quality fast bowler. Look at Australia's current setup. They can rotate their quicks during and in between matches. Everybody agreeing with Bish, saying that, you know, we found this prize in Shamar Joseph and he's just one example. We really have to put things in place to ensure that our fast bowlers are not burnt out and, of course, overworked. So no one has disagreed. Yeah, I think that is an excellent final point, though, about protecting by getting other quality fast bowlers because we've seen in the past when young bowlers have come into the system, they show some quality, and because they are over-bowled um, in just West Indies cricket alone, yeah. um, then they get hurt and they go away. Um, you think back about Jerome Taylor, who came in as an 18-year-old, Alzari Joseph himself, when he came into the side, um, I don't want to say it's over bowling in West Indies cricket, but we've seen uh, Jaden Seals. He's injured now mm. and out. So it is important. Fidel Edwards, Corey as my Collimore producer is well. reminding me, there's Corey, Corey Collimore. So, injury, yeah. so, so many West Indies fast bowlers mm. that we can look at down the years yeah. that when they come into the setup, and um, in some cases, because they don't have the support around them to carry the bulk of the bowling, mm. um, then they end up getting hurt. Um, and so I thought that was an excellent point to make. Yeah, and a quick reaction to Supernova, who said that he hadn't heard Ian Bishop on the Sports Max Zone at all, or in bracket, certainly not in recent years. Bish has been on, on the zone before. Not recently, though. I would think maybe not in the last three years. 
but we have had him several times on the Sportsmax Zone. Last time I can recall 2020. During the COVID, yes. when we were doing our all-time... Yes. Greats. Greats, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. was 2020, so that's just yeah. over three years. Coming up to four years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and Bish made an important point yesterday. So yeah. everyone keeps talking about the pace <laughs> of Shamar Joseph. But I think it's important to point out that he is so much more than the pace. His accuracy yes. is absolutely brilliant. Bish spoke about that line just about top of off stump. Top of off stump. And he's able to hit the, the, the right line and length consistently. And that is what gets you wickets um, when you're able to do that ball in, ball out, keep pressure on the batsman. Yes, he has the pace, but we've seen bowlers with pace before yeah. not have this type of success because they're all over the place. They don't use the short ball to good effect. When he uses the short ball, it comes most times as a surprise delivery yeah. and the effect is greater. Mm -hmm. So his skill level, is what I am so impressed with. Yeah. Yes, I understand that the pace is important. Um, I don't necessarily want to say it comes as a natural part of his repertoire, but I'm even more impressed with how he utilizes that pace and his overall skill set. Yeah, and yeah. I also heard Michael Holding talking about his, his bowling action and how seamless it oh, is. Oh, it's beautiful. And, um, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just this calm, measured bowling approach that um, should mechanically speaking, reduce the chances of him getting injuries and because of how, how smooth he is. And not to forget the energy that he brings around the team because the thing is, we've noticed what, you know, that element that he brings towards the team. They add this sort of joy, happiness, and I think that team needs that as well, that good energy. Mm -hmm. So let's continue with our interactive segment. We have some reactions now to the discussion on the Windies under 19 to inch closer to the Youth World Cup semi finals with a three wicket win over Sri Lanka on Tuesday. So we have this one from Sarvaz. I agree with Nikhil, West Indies under 19 bowlers has really been impressive and great. The fielding has been top notch, but there is little bit of flaws in the batting, especially in the top order. Stephen Pascal and Dawn have to do better. Jordan Johnson had a Gale vibe to him if he can at least take some time and do better shot selection then sky's the limit for him. Shamar Joseph heroics in the Gabba has galvanized the West Indies cricket and you can see in Stephen Weatherburn man of the match interview about the victory achieved by the West Indies against the Aussies at the Gabba. Let's take this one Daniel Howell exciting times ahead as West Indies continue to build for the future Good going, guys. Keep on improving. Congrats. G. Williams, Ricardo, you are very right to be critical of the under-19 team. The way they choose to chase in a few games, yes, you want to be positive and play your natural game, but there is a difference between playing your natural game and playing smart. I think it's clear that the top five have been careless, point in case the captain Pascal held his head on his last two batting displays, how he got out. Jordan, talented but careless, they enter this competition to win, not to play careless cricket. <laughs> Ricardo, re respond to G. Williams. Well, that's part of why I was quite pleased to see how they approached the chase yesterday against Sri Lanka because I thought it was a marked difference from how they had gone about um, the two previous ones against England and Scotland, the three previous ones and against South Africa as well, Which where they lost. they lost that game. Um, so I was, I was quite impressed with that. It says to me that the youngsters are learning. It also says to me that they can understand the moment and what is required in it. I think they knew that the Sri Lankan spinners would be tough to handle throughout 50 overs. And so it was important for them not to lose a lot of wickets at the top of the order. And you saw the difference in how Pascal approached it, in how Wedderburn approached it. Even Jordan Johnson, even though his natural instinct is to be aggressive, you saw him take his time to work himself into the innings. And so generally I was impressed. Maybe the only thing I was disappointed with yesterday was how Wedderburn got out. Because I think at the point when he got out on 61, um, the Windies were on top and in control of the game. And his dismissal coming down the wicket and being caught on the long-off boundary um, essentially gave Sri Lanka 
a foot into the contest and they almost took it. But I thought yesterday was a much improved um, chasing performance. Yeah, hoping they can continue on that yeah. strength. And, you know, because initially I can understand the nerves. Maybe that's why there was that those shot selections, which is why I am not going to criticize them. It's how they want to play. <laughs> but they improved and we're talking about the positives now. Yeah. And I think it's going to continue. Yeah. I like this team a lot, I can tell you that. Um, the top order batsmen are very, very talented. I agree that they have been a little bit careless in some of their shot selections and so on, but I see confidence in the team and I see batting down to 9 and 10. So I'm hoping that they can go all the way. I like them a lot too, Lance. Um, that's why I wake up 3 o'clock in the mornings to watch <laughs> them play. Um, and I know that you want them, not just because you are a fan of West Indies cricket, to win the tournament, but because we have a little bet going and it is in your best interest that the wind is on the 19 team goes on to win this World Cup. <laughs> yeah, all right, team. Well, this is where we wrap up today's 90 Minute Sports Max Zone. But we remind you that, of course, we have a lot of content on our channel. Tomorrow we have India versus England, so you want to keep it locked for that. And, of course, we'll continue getting the rights to these top sporting event so we can bring you the very best of the action we also have west indies versus australia that first odi so keep it locked to sports max have a beautiful evening see you tomorrow